Hello and welcome to another model review. Today I'm going to do it on the Colas 37 by Graham Farish. Now let's give you guys a general overview on the box. It's fitted with a 6 pin DCC socket, which is what that is designating there. It's 37421. Let's take it out of the box now. And here we are. And I have to say, Backman have done a grand job on it, as always. The detailing on it is very nice. So let's put the loco to one side and see what else we get in the box. Now, with any model, you always get the usual manuals on the locos and instruction sheets. So here we have, obviously, the one giving you an inside diagram of what's inside the engines, and then detailing, DCC fitting, etc. Now in the box you also get some detailing parts. We've got some snow plows, uh, shorter range couplings or close coupling, and various bits of pipes. I might have a go at fitting those snow plows, but that's only if I can keep both couplings on with the plows on. Now the manufacturer's information sheet states the loco must be running for an hour in each direction without a load. Colas 37s are used on the network rail test trains, which is a good job for them really. Well, the main reason why I'm only saying that is just good to see that these engines got de-preserved and put back onto the main line for main line operations, as they were built for really. Okay, so the locus finished running in, and already it's running really well. Now I don't have any appropriate stock to put behind this engine on this occasion, but I will be building a network rail test train for it. I've just got to work out what coaches of the network rail test train I'd like to put behind it first. So I think I'll just do a double header with 37207 and some clay heads. Now this track layout you see here is not a permanent layout of mine. Basically one day I was bored and I just had this baseboard in the garage and I just stuck the tra track down on it. It's not pinned or anything. And I've got to say this is probably one of the best track designs I've come up with. And it might be ideal if, you, if someone out there is looking to build a small layout on a 4 foot by 2 foot board in N-gauge. All the track here is Pico set track. Now I intend to build this plan, but I'm going to use mainline radius points from Pico and I'm going to put it on a 4 foot by 3 foot wide baseboard. And I intend to build it to a china clay layout, unless I change my mind, but we will see. So stay tuned for an upcoming video of when I get around to building the new N-gauge layout.
Okay, to sum the model up then. Well, what do I think? I think it's absolutely brilliant, and a big thumbs up to Graham Farish of Backman for that. If I really wanted to nitpick any problems with it, and the only thing I could say is the tail light on the front is flickering as it's going around, but that's that's only a little thing, and I wouldn't let that bother me. So, top marks to Backman for that, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.